Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a shop my stash. Uh, today, two days before Christmas, I December 23rd. I'm hoping to have this up on Christmas Day. So I would like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas, a very Happy New Year. Um, I kind of felt like, you know what, I want to pull some stuff in that are kind of Christmas, New Year's appropriate. So I'm going to go ahead and do that today. Um, there, I didn't choose everything in here. There are a few items that uh, I would like to keep. Very few items. For the most part, I use everything. Um, but I wanted, you know, kind of holiday appropriate makeup. I've received lots and lots of presents from my friends. I've ordered quite a bit of stuff. So I wanted to go ahead and... Um, Use them for the holidays. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy Shop My Stash videos. Uh, please subscribe uh, before you leave. And now let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna go ahead and get started with powders. I did add this in here. Um, I have been filming my collection videos. I'll have the playlist for my collection videos in the cards above and in the description box. Um, I'm getting so close. I have highlighters, face palettes, lippies, and eyeshadows left. Yeah, not close, not close, but in my head it is. Anyway, so I found my powder one and I got rid of a couple that were in here or just the one, which was the Honest Beauty. I went ahead and decluttered that in its place. I put in the Hourglass uh, Luminous Lighting Powder. So I am going to keep this in here. That's why big intro for this guy. Um, I'm going to keep it in here. Actually, I think I'm going to pull in a hourglass palette. I'm keeping it in here for now, but this is in here and it's staying. Uh, the other powder I had in here is by Huda Beauty. This is the Pound Cake. I think I'm going to also keep this guy in here. I would like somewhat of a flawless face for the holidays. So I'm keeping that. Uh, these two I'm going to go ahead and pull out. This is by Pesame and this is uh, the Invisible Dusting Powder. This is Agent Carter. Um, I do like it. I just have to be careful like if uh, like if I'm wearing my makeup for a really long time I will need to blot with this guy I don't stay uh, overly dry or matte or anything like that so I get dewy or oily um, but I do like this guy I love the packaging by Ofra I had the banana powder I don't know how I feel about this guy honestly I did use it a couple times to set under my eye like my concealer um, just because I like that banana shade to brighten um, my concealer did crease so I need to try it with different concealers and see how I feel about it I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out for now the other powder in here uh, was the Colourpop no filter setting powder and this is in translucent it's a decent powder I use it under my eye I use it all over my face it's okay it's not my absolute favorite but I don't hate it either I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out um, let me go ahead and talk about these foundations. I'm gonna pull, I know I'm gonna pull them out. We're going in different order today, but just bear with me. Uh, Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation. This is the shade W048, which is golden beige. I do really like this foundation, um, but I do have a new one that, or a couple new ones, <laughs> and I'm gonna pull in two uh, for this time around. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. I think I'm gonna have it in a project, uh, like a uh, panning project coming up soon. Uh, the other foundation in here was the Milani Screen Queen. This is 240 Warm Vanilla. Just a little light for me, so uh, I have to definitely bronze with this guy, but I do really, really like it. So I'm pulling that out. Um, for primers in here, I have the Smashbox The Mindful 5 primer. I love this thing. Like, I absolutely love this primer. Um... I think I'm gonna keep it in here for a little bit longer. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it in here for this time around. Uh, I do really like this guy. So it's staying in here. The other primer I had in here is the Heart Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer. This is really, really good. Uh, I really enjoyed it quite a bit. I think it's supposed to be a dupe for the Milk Gripping Primer. Um, I've only tried a, like a foil sample of that one. I did enjoy it, but I don't remember if it's uh, the same thing or not. But it's supposed to be a dupe. I enjoyed it. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. Uh, for setting spray, I had in here the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush uh, Flawless Setting Spray. This is a really good setting spray. Um, I think I'm going to pull it out, but I think I might reach for this guy for New Year's Eve. Or I could just pull in the Urban Decay All Nighter today. Um, it's a really good setting spray. I did really like it. So uh, I'm going to pull it out. We'll, we'll pull in maybe Urban Decay tonight, today. Tonight. It's like the middle of the day and I'm already thinking about tonight. 
Okay, for uh, concealers, I had the Jouer concealer in here, and this is the shade Creme Brulee. This guy is pretty amazing. Um, definitely really good coverage. The formula is really good, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. And by Revlon, I had the Photo Ready Candid Concealer. I thought this was pretty good. This is the shade uh, 27 Biscuit. Uh, it really set on, uh, not set, it uh, concealed under my eye pretty well. It's a little bit of a thin formula, so that I do really like that. I don't want it to be KK. I thought it was good. Um, it was kind of like, I don't remember what I think of it, but I thought it was pretty good. Um, now let's go ahead and talk about bronzers and all that stuff. For bronzer, I had the Becca Sunrise Wave in here. I really like this guy. I do swirl all of the colors together when I do apply it. I do really enjoy it. I really like the, the shade. Um, I like the formula. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. I had the Too Faced uh, Beach Bunny Bronzer. I was really happy with this guy. It had been sitting in my collection forever. I would swatch it, but I wouldn't use it. I finally used it, and I do really like it. I was pretty, really happy with this one. Uh, for bronzers as well, I had the e.l.f. Uh, this is Coke. I want to say coconut. Yeah, it's the coconut, like the bite-sized duos. This was pretty nice. I did really like the bronzer. I did really like the highlight. <laughs> Funny thing, when I was filming my bronzers, I could not find this guy for the life of me. Didn't even think to check in here, and it wasn't here. So, um, But it wasn't going to be in the bronzer video, collection video. It's going to be in my uh, face palettes or duos video. So that's the other bronzer, and I had one more in here. I had the uh, Marc Jacobs uh, Tantastic bronzer, like the Omega bronze in the shade Tantastic. So, like, I get the hype now. This is a really nice bronzer. It's not, uh, you can just put it on, not have to worry that, oh, I applied too much bronzer. It blends like a dream. And it smells pretty good. <laughs> For highlights, this is the one that I'm going to keep for next time. Uh, this is the MAC Snow Flush Extra Dimension Skin Finish. Uh, yeah, this is so beautiful. This was one of the holiday highlighters a couple years ago. And I think this would be perfect for New Year's Eve or even Christmas. So I'm going to keep this guy in here. The other highlighters in here, I had the Fenty Beauty, uh, the Fenty Glow. I haven't used this guy yet. This is the Diamond Bomb Fenty Glow. I didn't choose it, so I am going to keep it. These two I am going to pull out. This is by Artist Couture, and this is the Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati. This is so beautiful. I did really enjoy it. I'm going to pull it out. By Ofra, I had the Blissful Mini Highlighter, and the shade is Blissful. Um, this is so pretty, too. I have to be, like light-handed because those are intense and then the other highlighter i had in here is the i love sarai by dose of colors and i love sarai collab and what was the shade name don't tell me it's bathe is it bathe i guess um this looks really deep but on the skin it's just perfect I was pretty happy with it. I was kind of scared. I was like, oh God, this looks so dark. Um, but it looks really, really nice on the skin. It did not look um, as intense as it looks in the pan. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this guy out. Um, I guess we'll just do uh, blushes. I had the Smashbox XO Vlada, like Smashbox Bl Vlada collab. And this is in Drosmantic. Yeah, the shade is Rosemantic. Uh, this is so beautiful. I um, I love this thing. I kind of wish I picked the other shade, but I didn't. Um, I do use this guy like... I don't use a blush and a highlighter. I'll just use this guy. It's so stunning. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. Uh, by Ofra, I had the shade uh, Charm in here. Also a really great blush. Really happy with it. Totally matte. The other one is like intensely glowy by becca i had songbird this is the mineral uh blush this is a, a just like an everyday neutral blush um a little bit goes a very long way these are very pigmented so i have to be very careful when i use it i did really enjoy it and then the fenty uh cream i did not use this is the fenty glow so i'm gonna keep this guy in here as well 
So these are staying. I think that's it. Well, and I guess the Smashbox primer. Um, I did have a face palette. I had the Hourglass. This is the Unlocked. Um, I did use every single shade in here. This is a really nice palette. I do really like the formula in here. I like the shade variety that's in here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this guy out. Um, now the only thing remaining is eyeshadow palettes and I had four in here. Went a little bit crazy last time. I did use all four so I am very pleased with that. I had the Mothership 5 by Pat McGrath. Um, this is, I always use this one for the holidays and I think this year I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to use a different one. Um, I always use it for Christmas, but this is such a beautiful palette. I absolutely love this thing. I'm going to go ahead and pull her out. I had the I Love Sarai Dose of Colors eyeshadow palette. I use every single shade in here. One day I created a look with these over here. Like I put this a little bit in my uh, outer V and then I put this guy all over the lid. Oh, it was so stunning. I just wish I took pictures of it, but I wasn't feeling too well that day. I had like a terrible migraine. Um, so I was just not having it taking pictures, but it was a beautiful look. The other palette I had in here is by Too Faced and this is the chocolate gold chocolate gold uh, I was so happy with it this time like I I think the only one I didn't choose is this one this is dripping diamonds everything else my goodness I was so happy with this one this shade rich girl is absolutely beautiful in the inner corner like inner corner highlight uh, so one day I just did a look with these over here um, this was all over the lid and this is in the inner corner um, I use every single shade except this one I did not use dripping diamonds I'm really happy with it I'm I'm glad that I gave it a really good try a really good chance because I had been debating decluttering it but I I'm glad I held on to it and really tried it. And then by Melt Cosmetics, I have the Rust Palette in here. And again, I believe I used every single shade this time around. Um, this is just a beautiful palette. I absolutely love it. I love the tones. Um, I just, it speaks to me. It's, uh, you know, those are my colors. Um, deep, warm tones. I just love it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this guy out as well. Uh, the two single uh, shadows that I had in here, I did use this e.l.f. one, the Ciate London. I did not use, but I think I'm going to go ahead and pull both of them out. Maybe I'll pull in a single shadow today. I don't think so. I have a couple eyeshadow palettes that I really would like to play with. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these out and hopefully pull them in again at some point. For lippies, um, I did use this guy, but I'm going to keep these three in. I haven't used them this time around um, and all of the ones I used are in here so let me go ahead and tell you about all the lippies that I used since last since we last spoke okay here they are oh, that's good. yeah a lot uh, by Fenty Beauty this is the gloss bomb in the shade fussy I love that thing I love the shade I love the formula I really enjoyed it I had the blushing uh, sorry not blush and ravishing I like I read it it registered in my head and then I forgot ravishing rose by elf this was a really nice uh, lipstick actually uh, it, it's not very long lasting on the lip but the shade is beautiful it's easy to apply apply and it's comfortable Going back into the stash by Essence, I had the Plumping Nudes Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Big Bang. I really like these. I actually really, really like these. I do like most of the Essence lip glosses I've tried. Um, so this is going back into the stash. By Too Faced, I had uh, one of the Melted Matte Liquefied Lipsticks, and this is in Sugar Cookie. It's just a beautiful nude. I do like it layered with other like uh, shades from this line. I do have a couple like a pumpkin one. It was nice layered with this one because this is very chocolatey. So I enjoyed it. And this is the Caramel Apple. It's definitely a chocolate color. Um, a little bit outside of my comfort zone, but the two of them together looked really pretty. Uh, by MAC, I had the shade Out With A Bang. What video did I film? I was wearing this one. I think it was my giveaway video. 
Oh, so pretty. Um, it looks really deep, but on the lip it doesn't look this deep. I really like that shade and I liked how it looked. By Tristique, I had one of the Prime in Color Lip Glaze. This is English Rose. It's a really pretty color. Um, again, it's not, it doesn't apply. It's definitely less, you know, it's not as intense. Look at that color. Look how pretty it is. I did really enjoy this one. I haven't, I have yet to try the primer. I'm pulling that guy out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. This is by Too Faced and this is Melted Jelly Donut. This is so old. I was kind of like, I'm not even put, putting this guy on my lips. This is old. Um, I didn't choose it. I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. Um, stay tuned. Lippy collection and declutters coming. I'm way overdue for that. Um, by uh, Charlotte Tilbury. I kind of want to keep this guy in. Mm, I do have other reds that I would like to pull in for the holiday. I'm going to pull it out. This is by Patsy Red and Charlotte Tilbury. This was a gift from my friend Valerie. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. And then the lip liner I had by Illamasqua. And this is the shade Lust. I'm going to go ahead and pull this guy out. I'm going to only keep these red, these lippies here. And then we will um, pull in some of the newer lippies that I have. I'm going to go ahead and put all of this away. And then let's shop my stash for, uh, for new makeup to use. I know I'm getting a lot from my new makeup drawers. Um, so I don't think that's a surprise for anybody, especially if you've seen my haul recently. Um, another haul video will be coming up very, very soon. I'm just waiting on last few box items, boxes, uh, to come in the mail and, uh, it's coming, but I'm going to pull items before I film that haul. Hope you guys don't get mad. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Okie dokie, you guys. <laughs> yeah, my new makeup drawer is intense um and that's not all of the new makeup like i said i am still waiting for new boxes there are a few things that i still i haven't shown in like a, a haul video or like what i got for christmas presents from family and friends um but i'm cheating i pre-selected some items and they're here and i'm gonna go through this too and select some other items but let's go ahead and get started with the first few things that i picked out um i uh pull i as soon as i saw this come out at elf i waited a day <laughs> that was it that's all i could wait and then i ordered it this is the elf camo cc cream um and i picked out the shade light 280n i hope it works for me but i'm gonna pull it in and then because it's christmas and new year's so i wanted to do i i wanted you know special makeup glamorous makeup that kind of thing so i am pulling a couple of these i did uh order these um just a couple dior items i uh, i haven't shown in a haul yet because they recently came but i picked up the forever skin glow in the shade 2n i'm gonna pull that in i'm gonna pull in the forever uh, skin corrector in the shade is 2w i uh, ordered the rouge blush and golden nights this is like their holiday um i gotta show you this guy this is their holiday they call it a blush but i put the gold the champagne shade which is like a highlighter so there it is look at the embossment it's so beautiful and we'll do swatches at the end like always so i'm gonna pull this guy in for this this shop my stash uh for face palette i feel like my lighting is just terrible right now let me just let's see what's going on i want you to be able to see what i'm talking about um by hourglass and you guys did see that i uh i hauled this one this is the lighting palette in, in uh dim edit so i do want to pull it in this time around a lot of new makeup but i think you knew that like you know uh, I think this would be a perfect palette for uh, New Year's Eve. This is by Toast of Colors, and this is the Smoky Soiree. Let me show you real quick what she looks like, but I'm pulling it in because I think this would be stunning. Oh, God. I, look, I, I, I do not look my best today. I'm just not feeling well, but here she is. I'm going to pull this guy in. The other eyeshadow palette that I'm going to pull in is the Sigma Untamed Eyeshadow Palette. Uh, my friend Valerie sent me this for Christmas. I cannot wait to use it. This will be my first time trying anything Sigma. Uh, it includes a dual-ended brush, so I'm really excited for that. And this palette just is 
speaks to me just my my kind of thing you know once we open it and just watch as you'll know what i'm talking about my friend um my friend mariella she's also here on uh, youtube she's uh her channel's makeup with mariella she sent me a christmas package as well thank you my friend and this one <laughs> i had sent her this it was on her uh wish list for a while so i sent it to her and i was like i don't have it and she knows that i don't have it so she went ahead and sent it to me i am gonna go ahead and pull it in this time around she also sent me this one by lime crime but i'm gonna go ahead and save this one for a different uh for a different shop my stash because I do wanna I think this would be like a beautiful one for Christmas so I'm gonna pull this one in did I even tell you what this is this is the Pat McGrath uh, ecstasy and this is the sublime palette so I'm pulling this in uh, I have three eyeshadow palettes there's one in my collection uh, like an older palette that I think would be perfect for the holidays so we're gonna pull that in so no more new eyeshadow palettes but we're gonna be pulling in a lot of other stuff um let's see lipstick i want to pull this guy Ooh, i'm pulling these in and these in let me tell you what they are by pat mcgrath i ordered uh two lippies again you would have seen them in my haul one is in the shade christy and one is venus and furs i uh, will do swatches so i'm pulling those two in uh i am gonna pull in this red one and this is by kiko milano this is uh ocean feel lipstick and the shade is a red one i need to go ahead and just throw that packaging but it's a red lipstick Ooh, look how beautiful that is I'm gonna pull this one in and I think I got a lip liner with it when I ordered it. Hmm. I am not sure. You know what? This has been in here for a while, so let's pull it in as well. This is the Fenty Beauty and this is the shade Madame. Uh, those are the Mademoiselle um, plush matte lipstick. It's a red one, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it in. Uh, by Dose of Colors. This is a liquid uh, glitter liner. I think this would be absolutely stunning for New Year's or even Christmas. So I'm going to pull this guy in. So, I mean, I think, I think you would guess that this was going to happen. I did get a lot of comments on my uh, haul video saying, oh, I can't wait to see these being uh, uh, pulled into the shop, my stash. And you guys know me you know me too well uh dose of colors and this is lip gloss in the shade moi i'm gonna pull this guy in as well it's perfect holiday it's like glossy glowy um lip gloss and one thing i'm gonna pull in i mean i pull, already pulled in uh two foundations or a cc cream and a foundation but i will pull in another concealer should we try i want to try that glossier Hmm, it's got to be in the other drawer. Let's go ahead and go to the next uh, new makeup drawer. Okay, from here, where's that glossier boy brow? I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do these lippies by Pat McGrath as well, uh, lip gloss trio. I, it's just, it's the time, you know, it's the time of the year. Blame it on that. Holidays make people crazy. I'm gonna do it. By the way, I want to thank you guys for helping me reach 1,000 subscribers. I, did I film any videos since then? I think I did, but I haven't had the chance to thank every single one of you for subscribing, liking, uh, commenting, any sort of support that you guys give me. Really helps out my channel. I thank you so much for that. Couldn't have done it without you guys. Like, I sincerely appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna have a giveaway coming soon. For reaching the 1,000 subscriber, but I gotta get through the first giveaway. So there's that. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pull in the Boy Bra by Glossier. I wanna try that. I'm gonna pull in a mascara. I'm gonna bring in this Idol uh, by Lancome. Um, this is one of their newer mascaras, and I already finished a mini, uh, so I need a new mascara. So I'm gonna pull this guy in. Uh, I did not pick any new highlighters did I? I don't think so um how about we pull in what's back there why did I feel like there was some sort of highlighter that I really wanted to bring in let's go ahead and do this hourglass vanish concealer why not this is in the shade sepia highlighter Hmm, do I want to do Double Gleam by MAC or do I want to do this guy? 
Sungasm by uh, Catrice. Look at this. Look at this baby. It's the size of my head. I think I'm going to do this one. Let's do it. I have a feeling that they were trying to uh, dupe the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. But I don't know. Maybe this came out first. I'm not sure. I'm going to pull this in. Oh, do I want to do this highlighter by MAC? It's broken. Like I showed you when I hauled it, it's broken. I don't know if I should have contacted them and let them know that it's broken, but oh well. Um, any highlighters in here? I guess I did not go crazy shopping for highlighters. You know, let's go ahead and do this one. I'm going to do this one by Nabla. This is the shade Privilege. And I'm going to do this one by MAC. And this is the Extra Dimension and Double Gleam. I've wanted this guy forever. So I'm going to do these two. Lots of new makeup. Lots of makeup in general this time. I think that's it from new stuff. <laughs> it's a lot. Uh, let me go ahead and get a setting spray. For setting spray, I'm going to get the All Nighter by Urban Decay. I think it's just, just the time to do it make my makeup last all day and I think I'm gonna do a primer mist uh, I think for a primer mist can I do I want to do I do like this one by NYX but I also have on my table this one the primer water by Smashbox let's do the primer water for primers I kept the one by Smashbox I'm gonna pull in which one do I want to do I think I'm gonna do this one. Well, recently had it in there. Uh, how about, we recently had the primerizer too. You know what, I'm gonna pull in this guy. Another Smashbox primer, but oh well. I'm gonna pull in the Smashbox Photo Finish uh, Pore Minimizing Primer. I love this guy. I tried a little sheet and I just fell in love. So I'm gonna pull this guy in. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and go to eyeshadow palettes. And the one that I was like really thinking about and I think it would be just so good for this time of the year uh, like either New Year's or Christmas is this one by Chris, uh, Christian Dominique yeah Dominique Cosmetics and this is the Celestial Storm uh, it's been a while since I played with it but these just shades and like the glimmer and shimmer and glam and all that I think this is just perfect for this time of the year. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this baby in. And I think that's probably it for eyeshadow palettes because this would be like four palettes. So that's that's plenty. Um, let's see, I have two foundations, I have two concealers. I don't think I'm gonna pull in any more, but I am gonna go ahead and pull in a few powders. So let's go ahead and do that. For powders, I kept that pound cake by um, by Huda Beauty. Um, what else did I keep? I kept um, a finishing powder. We, we need other stuff. You know, I think I'm gonna do Laura Mercier. It's either, it's either Laura Mercier, I really like those ones by CoverGirl, but I just had them in. Maybe we should make an exception because it's, you know, it's Christmas and New Year's. I'm going to do Laura Mercier and I'm also going to do this guy because I really like this guy under my eye uh, for highlighting or even like the center of my face. Uh, this is Derma Blend Illuminating Banana Powder and this is just a translucent Laura Mercier powder. Um, I do want pressed powder. That's three powders already and they're all loose so let's do I'm 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 just I'm just gonna do it I'm gonna do the cover girl clean fresh powders I'm gonna pull in both because I like both one for under the eye and one for all over the face I have the shade uh, 110 porcelain and the shade 120 fair call me crazy call me like nuts for pulling in so many makeup things but i want to be able to have options and look flawless for pictures and all that so uh single shadow what do you think um, did i pull in that eyeliner i think i'm gonna skip single shadow i think i'm going to i think i really am gonna skip it um, I'm gonna go with one. I'm gonna go with this guy. This is the sequence, the Topaz, Topaz Flash. This is Marc Jacobs, one of my favorite single shadows. It's kind of like a creamy one. I'm gonna pull it in because, you know, 
why not you might say Rania are you crazy you're pulling in another face palette but yeah I do I want to I really want to pull in one of those two from uh, Mac uh yeah I'm gonna pull in one of those two the Mac palettes this one or this one don't tell me is this the same shade oh, shoot I think this might be the same shade as that uh, single highlighter I kept. Maybe I'll just pull this in and then I'll put away that single highlighter. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna pull in this one. I think it's the same shade. God, they don't have the names. Yeah, I'm gonna pull this guy in. And this one is gonna stay. Bronzers? Yeah. For bronzers, what do I wanna do? I'm gonna go with a contour palette today. Who is this? I'm gonna pull in the Koki powder contour palette because why not? I'm gonna do this and I do want one more bronzer because then I would have, I mean, there's bronzers in that MAC palette. Mm, I keep any other bronzers, but I'm gonna pull in one more bronzer and I think I'm gonna do, I really wanna do Charlotte Tilbury, I want Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna do two bronzers. I'm gonna pull in the MAC, Gimme Sun, which I just recently hauled. It's in here because I did my bronzer swatches and I did not wanna forget about it, but I haven't used it yet on my face. So I'm gonna pull this guy in and I'm gonna pull in, do I wanna do Charlotte Tilbury or do I wanna do the Gucci one? Um, I just, I wanna feel glamorous, you guys for the holiday season. It's depressing. I'm putting on makeup just to sit at home, but I'm doing it. Um, Gucci, I'm gonna do Gucci. This is so beautiful and this is the shade 03. Yes, it's still in the box, I'm aware. Okay, for blush, I think I'm gonna pull in, let's see. What do I wanna pull in for blush? Maybe I should just do, I think maybe just the one palette. Um, yeah, I think I'm only gonna do this. I'm gonna do the Pure Barbie. This is the Malibu Blush Palette. Um, did I pull in any other blushes? There's one, I believe, in that Dim Edit, the Hourglass Dim Edit Palette. Mm, I'm gonna do this guy. I wanna do just one more. Which one would I wanna do? That's, uh, that's, ooh, okay. I have to, I'm gonna go with Sicily. Um, I gotta get my money's worth out of a lot of these things. Ooh, Laura Mercier. No, mm. Mm, I haven't tried this guy yet. I'm gonna pull in, too many, too many? What do you think? If I do this one and this one and the palette, Let's do it. We're pulling these two in. Now let's do highlighters. I, I gotta go take it easy with highlighters because I have a lot of options. Hey, okay, for highlighters, I can't get that many. I have a lot. I'm gonna do, you know, I'm gonna do this one. This guy, uh, Milk Makeup, and this is the Lit, the Flex Highlighters, the shade is Lit. I'm gonna pull this guy in. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back in the drawer and let's do swatches, the fun part. Okay, I went ahead and put everything in here. It's a lot, but hey, if I don't use it all, it'll just stay for the next time. Let's talk about powders first. Um, I do have <laughs> a lot of powders. Uh, the Hourglass uh, Ambient Lighting Powder and Luminous Light, Pound Cake by Huda Beauty, uh, the Illuminating uh, Banana Powder by Derma Blend. Um, yeah, a lot. Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and 2 by CoverGirl, the Clean Fresh, the shade 110 and 120. For uh, bronzers, I do have the Gucci bronzer and this is the shade 03. Let's swatch this guy. Make sure my hand is all good. This is a really beautiful bronzer and the formula is really nice too. So there's that one. 
I also have the uh, bronzer by MAC. This is Give Me Sun. So, oh, there's this one. Hmm, it's definitely lighter, but we're all good. Guess the other bronzer. Oh, I forgot. I pulled in the contour palette. Um, this there's bronzers in here. There's this one. This is kind of like a, a bronzy. Well, it's it's not a bronzer. It's definitely not a bronzer. It's a highlighter. But there it is. This is by Mac. And since I swatched this one, let me just go ahead and swatch these two. This was the holiday last year. It's such a beautiful palette. Here's the other highlighter, and here's the snow flushed highlighter shade okay i'm gonna pull in the contouring palette by koki i'm excited for this guy let me do the contouring shades the bronzing contouring shades here they are i like the formula i think it's gonna be a good one for highlighters, I do have the Fenty Glow. Um, this is, is it this the shade Fenty Glow? Yeah, the Diamond Balm highlighter and the shade is Fenty Glow. This is so beautiful. Like perfect for this time of the year. Everything in here is just perfect for this time of the year. Uh, by Nabla, I have the Skin Glazing Highlighter and this is the shade Privilege. I haven't used this guy yet. I've owned it for a long time. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, there's this one. Uh, let's do that Dior highlighter, or they call it a blush, but you ready? Are you ready? Look at that beautiful embossment. Mm, and it's gone. Oh, this is very underwhelming. So what, what in the world is this? Oh, this might be going back, you guys. What the heck is this? Okay, yeah, that's gonna be going back. I only see very, very small amounts of shimmer. What the heck? Okay, I'd have to return this thing. It's very disappointing. I have to see how it looks on my face, but that's very underwhelming. I'm like, okay, it's gonna be beautiful. Uh, Milk Makeup, the Flex Highlighter and the shade is lit. I picked this guy up from Macy's, by the way. Uh, I don't think it's at Sephora. Did you guys even like what? Okay, there's lit. Look how pretty this is. Reminds me of the Ofra highlighters. It's as intense as Ofra highlighters. Um, I do have the one by Mac. This is Double Gleam. I have a lot of highlighter options this time, but that's okay. Look how intense this guy is. Ooh, beautiful. I think, is that it for highlighters? Oh no, I one more. I have this one by Catrice. This is Sungasm Face and Body Highlighter. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Not what I was expecting. Wow, that's intense. Oh my goodness, that's intense. So blushes. First one in here is by Sicily, and this is the Orchid blush. Oh, this guy's beautiful. Oh, that formula is just amazing. There's this one uh, by Laura Mercier, and this is the shade Peach. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. This is Cheeks Out, and the shade is Fenty Glow. This is a cream one. I'm excited for this guy. And we have these two palettes back here. So let's do Pure and Barbie. Let's swatch all of this one. There they are. And now let me swatch the other three. I think I have a lot of options for the holidays. There they are. And then the Hourglass palette. Uh, I think this is Dim Light, and this is, uh, I, 
oh dim light incandescent electro and euphoric strobe so a finishing powder a blush and a highlighter Ooh, the highlighter is beautiful very subtle but these look really nice on the skin i'm hoping that dior one is the same i hope <laughs> i'm praying for eyeshadows these are these three are new to me so let's start with the pat mcgrath ecstasy eyes is this ecstasy yeah ecstasy sublime oh look how cute Ooh. oh yeah these are perfect for the holidays and that is Ooh. oh my gosh that's pretty okay thank you mariella for sending this my way i don't know how i didn't have it and the smoky soiree this will be perfect for new year's eve i, I i'm obviously gonna swatch these two and let's do this one hmm okay kind of remind me of the pat mcgrath ones like uh, not this specific not this palette but different one. Ooh, these are pretty the other palette in here this was a gift from my friend valerie for christmas this is the sigma untamed eyeshadow palette i love the, the, the uh, velvet uh, feeling on it and it's actually on the palette itself i get to try the sigma formula for brushes yay i'm excited for that i mean doesn't this just scream rania i'm gonna swatch this one which is camouflage oh i like the formula i'm gonna swatch fierce i'm gonna swatch nv and let's do this blue dauntless wow that is soft oh that's so beautiful I cannot wear, wait to wear this one. <gasps> Look how pretty it is. Oh my gosh, my friends spoiled me this year for sure. Thank you. And look at that. I mean, look at the little details. I'm excited, so excited for this palette. Next in here, I pulled in this eyeliner by Dose of Colors. This is the shade Darling. This was their uh, mini collection. Um, it's a glitter eyeliner. I think this would be so beautiful. Look at that. Ooh, that's pretty. Um, I pulled in Glossier Boy Brow in Lancome I Don't Mascara. Uh, for primer, I pulled in the Smashbox uh, Photo Finish. Um, I feel like I did not get all the wrapping out. This is the Poor Man Minimizing Primer. Um, I've tried a foil of this and I really enjoy it. So there's that. The single shadow is that Marc Jacobs uh, Topaz Flash. This is such a beautiful single shadow. Okay, I have to swatch this for you guys. Oh, look at that. I'll just make your eyes pop. So I'm really excited to play with this one. I pulled in, it's not enough room, but we're gonna fix that. I pulled in the Hourglass Concealer, the Vanish Concealer in Sepia, uh, the Dior Forever Skin Corrector in 2W. I'm excited for that. Um, I pulled in the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream, and this is the shade 280W, I think, N, 280N. Where's the shade name? Oh, Light 280N. Um, I also pulled in the Dior... Uh, Skin Glow Forever Skin Glow Foundation, and this is the shade 2N. Really excited to try this guy. Uh, I also pulled in a primer water by Smashbox, the Urban Decay um, All Nighter as setting spray, and Smashbox, the Mindful Five I kept from last time as a primer. Now let's talk about the lip products and do the lip product, uh, the lippy swatches. Okay, let's talk about those beautiful lip products. I think I have a really good variety. Have some nudes and lots of reds. Uh, the first one is by Pat McGrath and this is the shade Christy. Yes, Christy. It's so pretty. Right next to it is Venus and Furs, also by Pat McGrath. Right over here is by Fenty Beauty and this is the Matte Moselle and the shade is Madame. 
right over here is by Kiko Milano and this is uh, Ocean Feel over here. It's an orangey red, but which I don't have too many of in my collection. Over here is by Smashbox and this is, I wanna say Man Eater? No, Misconduct is over here. It's one of the liquid lipsticks. Right over here is by Kiko Milano as well and this is the Arctic Holiday Collection. Shade is Metal Lipstick 02. Is this one? Uh, right over here we have a lip gloss by Dose of Colors and this is the shade Moi, the mini, Mickey mini collection. Over here is by Pat McGrath and this is the Blood 2 lip gloss. Over here is also by Pat McGrath lip gloss and this is the shade Carnal Desire. Over here is also by Pat McGrath and this is the lip lacquer in the shade the Celestial Ruby. Look at that. Whew, that's rich. And then the last one over here is by Too Faced the Melted Matte, and this is the Candy Cane. Do like, are these holiday lippies? Like, are these holiday lippies or what? If these are not holiday lippies, I don't know what is. I really hope you guys enjoyed this kind of like special holiday edition uh, shop my stash video. I know it's a lot of new items, it's a lot of items in general, but it'll probably be a while before I film again, or if I do film again, if I didn't choose everything, I'll probably keep some stuff in for the timer for the next time. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. Thank you so much for all love and support. If you're curious about any of the products that I talked about, please leave me a comment below. Um, Leave me a comment in general. I love chatting with you. Give this video a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!